Hi Sagittarius, with a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, this reading could apply to anyone who has Sagittarius strongly in their chart. But my friends, please be discerning um, when it comes to claiming a reading. Make sure that it really fits with your situation. It does, does not diminish you or frustrate you or put you into a, a energy of confusion. This reading is meant to inspire you, to comfort you, and give you confidence as you move into the future. Um, so um, I, I just wanted to put that out there as um, a request for you to be discerning um, as you listen to this reading or watch this reading. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move forward now with the shuffling. If you don't like the shuffling, just move forward in the video to where the reading starts. That's fine with me if you do that. Let's see here what is in the current energy for the sign of Sagittarius. What is in the current energy for the sign of Sagittarius? What is in the current energy? What is in the current energy? For this, what is this energy? Seven of Pentacles. What is in the current energy for Sagittarius, please? What is in the current energy? And what is Sagittarius stepping into? What kind of energy is Sagittarius stepping into? In the immediate future, we're looking at the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, whatever that is for you. And there's the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? What is Sagittarius stepping into in the next immediate future? Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance, please. Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance, guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. did not mean to come out. I did that myself. Guidance, please. Okay. All right, Saggies, let's get right into this. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. I'm happy you're here, and I look forward to seeing what kind of a story is here. Before I get started, I want to let you know that this is the deck, the wheel of the year, and also that there will be an extended reading after this reading that will go deeper into at least four of the energies here. After I go deeper into the energies, I will take this scenario out um, step by step or until the next, or I'll take it out five waves of energy is what I'm doing, or month by month. However you prefer to look at it, knowing the tarot, from my perspective, is not always an accurate measure of time. So you need to be a little bit flexible. I prefer to talk about waves of energy, but if you like to think of it month by month, you can. Just know that there's going to need to be some flexibility in that. All right, let's go ahead and get started here and see what this story is. We have the Nine of Pentacles energy here. Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups. Hanged Man, Page of Pentacles. So let me move these over. I'm moving it up. I feel like it needs to be more like this. It's kind of consistent with my other Yeah, I feel better about this. Okay, for some reason. All right, so we have the energy of the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Hanged Man, and with the Princess of Pentacles over the top of the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. 
So this is an energy of independence. This could be a person who's single. This could be a person who is um, in a, a place of um, financial stability, financial windfall, financial improvement. Um, this is an energy of personal independence, personal strength, understanding how to become um, abundant in life, and then really beginning to live in that energy with the Nine, nine of Pentacles. Um, there is some sort of communication that comes in here, some sort of finale or some kind of major decision that's being made about how to bring in happiness, how to bring in peacefulness in your environment. Um, the Ten of Cups is like um, a beautiful a beautiful story coming to fruition. It is an energy within your environment that's peaceful, that's loving, that's nourishing. It's a beautiful, happy family or whatever brings you the most fulfillment and love and inspiration in your life. Um, there is some sort of energy of that here. There is a understanding, I feel, with the Ace of Swords of what brings that in for you. And for some reason, there's a little bit of a hangman here. So there could be a delay in bringing in this happiness or this, this fulfillment. Um, you could be waiting for a love situation to come in for you. You could be waiting for something to come into fruition. You could be waiting for a job to open up, or you could be waiting for something to come to pass. You could be waiting for something here with Ace of Swords. You could be having clarity about how to find this happiness, how to find this peaceful environment, and then really kind of waiting for it to come. Come, Yeah, there's a waiting energy waiting for it, knowing what it is, having clarity on how to get it, having the strength and having the ability um, and having the personal choices that are available that you can choose wisely in order to connect with it, but having some sort of a delay and actually getting to the Ten of Pentacles energy, which is really interesting, Sagittarius. We have the, the Page of Pentacles here, but what I see is some kind of indication now that you're on your way with the Page of Pentacles. So there could be a message coming in that's giving you a strong indication of success, or there could be things really starting to pop off now that are showing um, signs of improvement here, or signs that there's going to be some sort of stable progress in whatever this emotional fulfillment is. So you could have waited a long time for this, but I do feel like there could be messages coming forward that are really uh, exciting, that could really be something that you can kind of hold or put your fingers on or really begin to experience here with the Page of Pentacles. Something, because look, she's she's really kind of counting her money here. So there's something that's showing up here that's really bringing in this peacefulness, this happiness here. Because for right now, I think that you haven't quite found it. You know, if you're looking for the Ten of Cups and you have the clarity on how to find it, you could very well be in the Nine of Cups energy where you have really found personal happiness, internal happiness and joy, and, and really starting to live life in a way that um, you can connect in with bliss and joy much more often than you used to. But something in your outer environment probably still has to kind of roll in for you. Um, it, there, there is still something here that you're searching for, that you're waiting for, but I do see that you have some sort of clarity on what it is, or you know how to get it, or you have found some victory there. And you're just kind of waiting for it to all come together, for it to all mesh together. And that sounds kind of vague, but I do feel like that is this group of people. There's something happening here, though. Could be a message coming in or some sort of statement coming in or some sort of offer or a proposal here. Or some kind of victory could be made here. It's connected in with independence and personal choice and the power of the individual in it and a harvesting kind of energy where there's money kind of dropping in there's money on trees it's 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 a really powerful energy but still here you're looking at this ten of cups and and waiting for it in some way waiting for that environment or that quality of life to really kind of come to fruition for you and i do see there's some sort of indications of of success that are coming in Something's happening here that is connecting you in with this truth, with this clarity, and with this pathway to this Ten of Cups. Okay, so there's some sort of delay. There's also another perspective here that you're beginning to see, Sagittarius. That's that's probably like a very important part of this story for you. So this is this group of people. Okay, let's see what's happening here in the future. 
What is happening here for this group of Sagittarius people? And remember, these cards came out quite easily. There's not a whole lot of um, energy that is, um, it's, it's a more, it just feels like a more grounded energy for some reason here. Yeah, it's more grounded. See with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. It's a more soft energy, Sagittarius. So as you move into the into the future, you have the Seven of Pentacles connected in with the world energy. So you're really working here on a on a new beginning. You're working on a new beginning. You're training for it. You're investing in it. You are spending time working towards it. There's still a little bit of time still until it comes to fruition. This new beginning, this new excited horizon, this new doorway that you're going to step into. There could be travel here. There could be new experiences here that you're planning for. I do feel this is a very expansive energy that you're working towards. You have the three of cups over the top. So, I mean, I think that you're really enjoying life at this point in time. Um, you're, you're really... You have a group of friends maybe around you that are um, really part of the story, or you could have a team around you that are part of the story. Um, it, it is an energy of teamwork, an energy of celebration, an energy of something starting that's new, and there's a, there's a celebratory energy around that. So there's something starting up here, something starting up that's new with the three energy that's kind of a birthing of something, something being created. That is something that is really bringing on a whole lot of celebration and joy and happiness and victory here with the Three of Cups. It's something new and it's something new that's going to lead you into, into a new horizon. So you have this Knight of Pentacles energy. Now this Knight of Pentacles energy is in the middle. And in my readings, the middle bottom card is like the flavor of the reading. It's something that permeates all the energies of the reading. I think for you, this is something that you're working on. This is an energy here. There's, this could be another person that you're connecting in with. Could be another person you're connecting in with or another job or some kind of a work opportunity. Could even be a client that you're connecting with, a big project that you're taking on. Um, whatever this is, it has an energy of stable improvement. It has an energy of significance. It has a grounded energy. It is a, something that's somewhat slow with the Knight of Pentacles. This is an energy that's very careful, very consistent. This is an energy that doesn't really move forward unless there's some sort of evidence of improvement, some sort of st stability there. It's not a fast moving energy, but when it does move forward, it comes forward with something very stable, something of, of great improvement and something that will bring in long-term change. So if this is a person, this is, this is someone that is going to really be grounded, move very slowly, look at all the angles, make sure that they're moving properly. Um, it's going to be slow movement, but when it happens, it's going to be significant and it could really start to change your reality. If this is a job, same energy, same energy. It's going to be something that can bring improvement in your life. It might be something that will build slowly, but whatever it is, it's something of significance that will improve your reality in some way. Here it is right next to the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles over the top of the Princess of Swords. So um, I think that you're in an energy of really kind of learning about this. You might be feeling somewhat uneasy about it. You might be watching it, um, digging into it, researching it, finding more information, observing it, constantly watching it, constantly thinking about it. Um, it's an energy that's a student energy. It can be an uneasy energy. It, it could be a stalking type of energy. It, it definitely is something that is already kind of established in some way. Not very much of it might be. It might be a business that's just getting started that's maybe in its first year or something with the Three of Pentacles. If you can get into the Three of Pentacles energy, I, I really like this picture on this card. Is a picture of a, is a, a, it's obviously a big building because it's a three energy. So this is a big building and it probably has many archways. And this artist is here painting this mural. And because it's a three energy, we have to assume that this is probably the first painting on this building. And when this artist paint this, his first painting, He's learning a lot about what kind of paint to use. I mean, I'm not a painter, so I'm just talking here. And those of you that are artists are probably giggling behind your hand. <laughs> she doesn't know anything, and I don't. But let's go into the energy now. So this artist could be just learning what type of paint to use, what kind of 
paint brushes to use, um, what, yeah, how long the painting will take, what kind of weather is best to do this mural in, um, what kind of supplies he'll need. Um, there's a lot that he's learning with this first mural, but that tells me that there's something here that has been created. There's something here. There's something tangible here. It's something that you can kind of hold on to. And it's something that gives you confidence. It's something that you're willing to work towards and wait for. Now, the Three of Pentacles is over the top of the Strength Energy and over the top of the Princes of Swords, the Princes of Swords. So there is an energy here of you might just not be sure. You might want more information. You might be wanting to check more into this, whatever it is. Um, it's a Strength Energy. So there's something here that you're kind of holding back. You could be wanting to move forward much more quickly. You could be wanting it to happen. You could be wanting to push it forward because the three of pentacles can be sort of a slow energy, you know, to do something the first time sometimes takes twice as long. And then you do it the second time and it goes much more quickly, much faster, much more efficient. So there, there could be something here that you're having to learn bit by bit, or you're, it's, it's a slow go the first time and you're having to really kind of, restrain yourself on some sort of impatience that you might have with this, whether it's a relationship, a new project, a new client, um, a, a new company that you're joining or a new company that you're starting, or even a new job that you're at. There's something here that has some sort of real stable improvement that's being offered, but it, it's a slow go. And I think that you are really working hard to invest in it. There's a little bit of a delay here, um, but you're willing to do this. You you have the strength and the capacity to really move through this awkward energy because you know the abundance that can be at hand here. So I think as you move into the future, the next seven to 10 days, you're going to continue to see this, this stable energy of improvement. You're going to be feeling good about this. You're going to be willing to work towards it and wait for it. I think you see a new beginning here. Um, there's going to be a little bit of an awkward energy a watching energy, a training, a researching energy. You're going to be a student of whatever this is, right? These two energies are are on top of this. So you're going to, you're looking into these two things. You're investigating them. You're finding more information. It might be the only thing you can do right now, Sagittarius, right? I mean, it might be that you're just waiting for these things to come forward to you or to happen. And maybe the only thing you can do is to research and learn and, and uh, really fill your brain with knowledge about whatever this is. You're in a hurry. There's something here that you're in a hurry for. You're wanting to do something. You're wanting to say something. You're wanting to get started here because um, Sagittarius, sometimes waiting can be really hard for Sagittarius people. And I think you could be waiting here into the future just a while here. Um, but I like that the Knight of Pentacles is here. I like that the world energy is here. I like that the Seven of Pentacles is here. These are all really good energies. They're all very positive energies. And I think it's just going to take maybe a little bit of time for it all to kind of click into place. All right, let's look at the guidance here for you. Guidance, guidance for Sagittarius. Three of Wands, another three. Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Eight of Cups. All right, so we have the Three of Wands energy here. This is an energy of really being optimistic about the future, kind of seeing things begin to develop out on the horizon and being enthusiastic and passionate for, for what you're headed into. Um, you could be um, dreaming of what's to come. Um, you could be in a little bit of a dream state or a little bit of an optimistic place, but I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think imagination and belief systems and um, building a dream is a very important part of manifestation. And if we don't have the three of wands, I think we would be really lacking in the success that we can build around us. So that's a that's a really beautiful energy to stay optimistic, to stay empowered, to stay um, in, in a very high mood, a mood 
to keep your mood in a very powerful place because I think there's just a little bit of a delay here for you, Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Wands energy. This is talking about um, not letting go of this, standing strong, knowing who you are, knowing what you believe in, knowing what your talents are. Because remember, the Nine of Wands energy is kind of a specialist energy. If you think about the Ace of Wands, moving to the Two of Wands, to the Three of Wands, to the Four of Wands, all the way up to the Nine, I mean, you've been qu through quite a lot of cycles. Um, at this point in the game, you are a warrior here. The Wands energy is a warrior, it's an action taker. You are an action taker a doer, a game changer that's been through quite a lot. And you have a whole set of specialties of skills that are just for you that are, that are part of your repertoire. And I think you know exactly what your abilities are, what your skills are, what you believe in, what you're passionate about. And I don't see you backing off on this. I don't see you running away. I don't see you changing game. I see you standing straight and tall and really facing this. And there could be some fear here with this, with this situation for you. Um, said Sagi, when I get into this energy, um, you could be having trouble expressing what this is. My throat chakra kind of, kind of is, is a little bit affected when I get into the nine of wands. So you could be really needing to, to persuade someone or to voice what this is, to stand stall, to stand tall and really represent what this is for you because there's some sort of defensive action that you're taking. And I do feel like it's, affecting my throat chakra. So it could have something to do with truth. It could have something to do with um, not backing down and defending this change that you're going to make. You, you're right. You have this energy right next to the to the Knight of Swords. So I do think that um, there is some sort of expression that you're going to be bringing forward or that you need to make about this. There's something here that needs to be said. I really feel like there's something here that needs to be said. You might be holding back. You might be very patient. Um, and that's good to do that. It's good to moderate your tone. It's good to control that beast within you. But this is guidance is coming forward. And there's, and, and maybe there's something that needs to be said or something that you can do. Um, this is an energy of moving forward with your own truth. I'm not quite fully understanding the situation, but this will resonate with people. And I just have to say what's coming out of my mouth because there could be a situation here. Um, Maybe you're holding yourself back too much. Maybe you have some good ideas or maybe there's something very important that needs to be said. And uh, maybe you're being too cautious about this. There have been other situations that have left you or have gone away from you. And I think maybe in this case, you might be being too tentative, too hesitant. Um, you might be holding back because of some kind of fear that it could leave you or it could disconnect from you because of some sort of opinion that you bring forward. Um, I, I think with the Knight of Swords as guidance, it's telling me that there is some something here that you're wishing to say or that might be good for you to say. Remember, the Knight of Swords is very honest, direct, um, very clear communication. It's some sort of expression, some sort of information coming forward or an expression of, of truth. Um, make sure with the Knight of Swords that you're not coming in too strong but there is definitely some need for you to come in with some sort of truth here. You are holding yourself back from this team. You are holding yourself back here. You have, a, you have invested quite a lot in your own future in this new beginning. Um, you're watching here, you're watching and learning and you're holding yourself back. And I'm just wondering why you're doing that. If there's a real reason for that, why are you holding yourself back when the guidance has this Knight of Swords about coming forward with your truth, something to share? Maybe there's something you can help with or I don't know. It's just very interesting. I feel like there's some kind of apprehension that you have from the past or from some kind of situation that left you or broken, broke your heart or something um, that could have happened maybe because of maybe over enthusiasm or something that you weren't able to to moderate yourself with and now you're you're very apprehensive to come forward or appre apprehensive to tell your truth but i do think you're probably a different person from back then when that happened with the nine of wands this is a specialty kind of energy so you have something about you that is very rare and beautiful 
And it, there might be a need here for you to move forward in some way, take an action. And I don't mean it, it doesn't have to be drastic. It doesn't have to hurt you. It doesn't have to be something that's so big that will knock the sauce out, off of someone. But maybe there's something here that you can do that will help to clarify or will help to add to um, the team or something here, something that you can do that could bring forward some sort of assistance or information or your own truth here in this situation because the nine of wands is a is a is a is a not going away card it doesn't go away it stays and it's ready for one more fight this wounded warrior so i think you're excited about this i think that you're looking forward to a, a beautiful passionate future here i don't know if you're necessarily talking sometimes the nine of wands er energy is a non-talking card and then we have guidance here for um, a, a, a communication to come forward. Also, the Nine of Wands is a energy of a protecting something. So you might be protecting something as well. You could be protecting your own reputation. You could be protecting your... Um, you could just be in this self-protective energy because of something that has happened in the past that you missed out on or you feel like you made a mistake with, said something that you shouldn't have or did something that you shouldn't have where, where somebody perhaps walked away or a situation wasn't afforded to you or wasn't allotted to because of something like that. But I think this guidance is coming forward is there's a need for the truth. There's a need to protect this and please stay in this positive, enthusiastic mindset because it does feel like there's something here for you that's pretty special. What an interesting read. Again, these readings this week have all have all been surprising to me for some reason. Um, let me see. I'm going to move to the extended now. And I want to really, now I'm really curious about what energies I'm going to go deeper in. Well, I'm interested in this Knight of Pentacles energy, and I'm interested in this Three of Pentacles. What is this? Okay. Um, you're holding yourself back from this new beginning. There's things that you're wanting to do, but you're kind of holding yourself back here. You're waiting, you're investing, you're training, you're planning, you're, you're analyzing. I mean, what do they want you to do? I, I just, I want to go deeper into this energy of this Knight of Swords. What is there to be done? What is there to be said? There's a lot of energies I can go into here. I want to be very careful what I do because I want to go into the most helpful energies as possible. I might go into this Ace of Swords to see what this is, what this decision is or this communication is that comes forward. So I'll probably go into the Ace of Swords first. Um, and then I'll look at this Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and then I'll look at this Knight of Swords. All right, so that's what I'm going to look at in the extended. And then I'll also take out the same scenario. I'll move it out four more waves of energy or in, in waves of energy. There will be four more waves of energy that I'll look at. All right, my friends, thank you very much for being here. What an interesting read, Sagittarius. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, I hope that it adds to some kind of a game plan for yourself. Um, it looks like something beautiful is coming in. It just might take a little bit of time for it to really kind of, kind of come into fruition. All right. Thank you very much, Saji. I'll talk to you later. Bye.